if you are tired of ordinary evaluation methods. Now, this one is coming for you. Draw the outline of a hand on a sheet of paper. The top is what I liked best. And the index finger is what I find useful. And the middle finger is what I did not like. And the ring finger is what I take with me. And the pinky finger is what I missed out a bit. Now your students have a handful of things to say. Now this is coming for hungry ones. Print out a pizza. Then give names to your pizza slices. And ask your students that if they like the activity, put a dot on the center. And if they didn't like the activity, ask them to put a dot away from the center. Now your pizza is ready to eat. Do you want to go to a cinema with your students? If the answer is yes, go to Google and search for Multiplex Cinema Evaluation and you will find this picture and write the name of the activity you want to evaluate and ask your students to draw faces oops not like this okay that is better if your students draw one head that means that they are giving one point to that activity which means a bad thing if your students draw two heads, that means that it is good. If the activity gets three heads, that means it is excellent. Be creative and demonstrate more than one activity at a time. Do you like climbing trees? Of course not that one. Even if you don't like, you will like the blobs. This is a blob tree. And these are the blobs. But they can be your students. You can ask your students how they feel themselves in today's lesson. And they can color the one they feel close to. So, you can get a deep understanding of your students' feelings during the lesson. I hope these activities help.